Okay guys, just a uh, real quick video to go with my review for item of the day today. And you can see that I've got this uh, plugged into what my buddy John Dowie co calls a freaking orange, freaking three-way, freaking Stephen Harris freaking thing, or a power splitter. And uh, this is the timer itself, it's a century 24-hour mechanical timer. And if you look right in here, you can see that there's little, little pins that you can push down. And that's how simple it is to set this thing, and hopefully it won't go off while I'm shooting this couple minute video and make noise with the compression that's plugged into it. But uh, my issue, and described in the review, and you can read the uh, review in the, there's a link in the video notes below if you are just watching this straight on YouTube, is what I've got that running for me is a one quarter horsepower air compressor, although it is part of an aeration system for my pond, which is about 90 feet that way. And there's uh, about 100 foot of weighted rubber line runs down to the pond, plugs into here, and that provides aeration for the pond. Well, you don't want that running 24 hours a day, and I actually kind of wanted it running throughout the day and throughout the night, but about six hours a day. So what I did is I pushed one pin per hour down on the timer, and now 15 minutes out of every hour it runs. Here's the most important part for me. You can see right there about what time it is, right? Okay, so the uh, the issue is that this is gonna be shut off often for very, very brief periods of time. And the reason for it is this power outlet is what runs our fence charger, okay? So this is our fence charger for our electric fence that protects the ducks at night. There's no need to run during the day. And what we've been doing up till now is at night we turn the power on out here and then during the day we turn the power off. And to accomplish that, hey Lucy Lou, to accomplish that I have a power switch that's right over there on the side of the deck and it shuts all the power off out to the duck house. Well now I got the boat. The boat needs to be plugged in for a charger. This thing needs to run. Um, so, you know, the, the, the idea now is that we just, in the mornings when we shut the power off, we come in here and we just unplug the fence charger. And then on our way back to the house, we just turn the power on back out here. That's all good and well, but if we used a digital timer, every time we did that, the timer would reset to zero and it would stop working. It would have to be reset. By using a mechanical timer, it doesn't matter if it's off, the time's off a little bit. It doesn't matter even what time it's set to for this application. We just want it to run 15 out of every 60 minutes, so we just pushed every fourth pin down and done. The thing is, I hate timers. I despise timers. Timers are my enemy, but I love this one. It is so simple to use. Let's say you wanted to set that timer to run from, let's say one hour out of every three. Well then say one o'clock, you push all four down. Two o'clock, three o'clock, you don't push any down. Four o'clock, you push all of them down. You can come up with any frequency you want, any order you want, and then you just set that little dial right there to the actual time, and you're good to go, and it'll take over from there. And uh, AM, P, AM and PM, really easy to see the difference. Black for PM, white for AM. So you can see that be, you know, one o'clock in the morning right there. Really, really simple. About as bulletproof as it gets. And can't recommend it highly enough. In the future, I'll give you a view of what this thing does right here. But basically, it just makes a bunch of bubbles in my pond. Anyway, with that, I'll catch up with you with a new video soon.